Hi Tea Fam! So in my last video, I did mention that I would talk about how I got um, COVID. Me and the baby got COVID. Me, the baby, and dad got COVID. Um, also, I wanted to talk about my experience with it. What we did, um, yeah, so here it is. Um, so dad got COVID first and then he went and quarantined in our second bedroom and then I ended up getting it and I am uh, fully breastfeeding the baby. So <laughs> she's just got done eating. Say hi mamas. Say hi pretty girl with the milk all over your face. Say. Hopefully I can make this video with ease. Say hi. <laughs> she just ate. So. Mm. Oh my god, a full baby. Hey. Hi. Okay. Oh, that's a girl. Sorry. So, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um. COVID and us. Uh, so I got a fever the first day. Actually, it started with him not feeling well. And then he's like, I'm going to go sleep in the other room just in case it's COVID. Um, and then he tested and we did the home kits. Um, I heard some people say they're not that accurate. Uh, he actually went to the hospital because he was feeling some uh, like pneumonia chest pains. Also, forgive all the mess. We are in the middle of painting. So the shower stuff crazy curtains everything's a mess right now uh but he had covid before so he was like i'm kind of feeling really out of it and so he went in he went into the hospital because his he was having like trouble breathing and they were like you have covid i love you and so um he quarantined in the second bedroom then i ended up getting it a few days later or so yeah like a few days later i got covid i had a really bad fever had cold sweats i was feeling really achy um and i was with the baby the whole time and like i said i'm exclusively breastfeeding so i was like what do i do and um you know i did a few google searches i asked my midwife and everyone's like keep breastfeeding the baby so she was so good my little booger she was doing so good um and then a few days later i noticed like instantly that she had like she felt warmer and it was like around 5 p.m i was like oh she feels warm i took her temp temperature usually she's at like 97.5 97.8 she was at 98.2 and i was like okay you know a little not a lot it's not fever but i was like it's going up and then i took it again like two hours later it was like 99 and then i love you i love you and so then it was um by the end of the night it was at 100 and then i was like whoa like what do i do it's going up and then it hit 101.3 now um every parent is different my mom and my mother-in-law were like take her to the hospital immediately however um we noticed that she herself wasn't looking bad her feet her temperature was high she had a fever but she was still laughing uh playing and so i was like okay like she's not hey hey mama she's not completely out of it you know I got baby. That's you. That's you, my lovey. So, um, my midwife said give her Tylenol or Motrin. So we went and we got some Tylenol. Gave her some Tylenol every four to six hours, depending on if the fever is going down and it was going down. Um, and then we gave her a cool bath and I also kept a little, like, um, a little, uh, bath 
what is it called? Washcloth, sorry. A little washcloth on her forehead. Um, and I made sure that if she was sweating in her clothes, I changed it. Now that first night was the worst of it, thank God. Um, I don't know how everybody else's experiences are. She got it when she was four months four months she's five months now so i was freaking out a little because there's a lot of remedies that people are like oh you can't do that till they're six months um and i was just like oh my god like oh is it gonna be really bad who knows so the the first day fever was the ver worst of it we kept her on tylenol for just that that uh 24 hours um and she did really good she kicked its butt she slept a lot i kept breastfeeding her so something great if you are breastfeeding and if you're not it's okay too but if you are breastfeeding um your body makes antibodies for it so it was helping her she was staying hydrated um you know and she really didn't seem like she was feeling really bad even with the fever like after her little bath um she was okay we did a lot of vapor um va vapor rub <laughs> i always say vaporu um vapor rub steams like they have these shower steams that they sell um at cvs walgreens walmart i can't think of what target sells them too and they're just these little like tablets they're like about that big you drop them in the shower and you let the steam run there's also vapor rub um like epsom salt that you could put in the little bath so we did a little bit of both of that now i remember <laughs> and maybe some of you can relate you know uh old school parents have little remedies put a little bit of vapor rub on the <laughs> on the chest and the feet and uh cover the feet up with some socks and let the baby uh you know when they're sweating it out somehow that helps another thing that my aunt said um, and i remember her doing this to me was potatoes some people say onions on the forehead and the feet if the baby has a fever um so little remedies like that you can try um again luckily for us it was just one day of fever and then you were a rock star uh -huh. after that she um had a lot of congestion so we put humidifiers we put two humidifiers um our pediatrician recommended using eucalyptus peppermint or lemon in the uh humidifiers but not in them sorry like in a cotton ball put the oils and then put them on top so you don't mess up your humidifiers unless you have a humidifier that can take oil um another thing um so we use nasal spray to help break down that congestion for her and we i personally like either the frida or i don't know this other brand but i like the nose suckers where you can like suck with your mouth you like with your mouth and then the other part goes in their nose um my husband likes the ones that are hey nugget the electric ones and we tried the bulbs as well <laughs> you're so sweet my little lovey um and hey are you coming what's that little cough so uh, another thing after the first week after um covid no more what no more congestion as heavy as in the beginning but she started developing a little cough um not that cough that's her little like <laughs> cough but she had like a little cough on her that ended up going away within 10 days um after we went to the doctor so i would say two weeks um so first week she had congestion and covid first day she had fever second week she had cough and then two weeks after that cough started it went away so um you know thankfully we're all good now uh it's been a month since we've had covid she's doing great uh dad's doing great i'm doing great and so if you are a parent out there and your baby gets COVID, um, you know, just make sure you're on top of the fever more than anything, because I've heard that like that's what is of concern, especially if your child is, um, you know, within that three, if they're three months, I think like definitely be even more on top of it. Because I heard from like zero to three months is when you should really be concerned for fever. 
now four months she's like right there too so um i was like really scared but reach out to your doctors if you have a midwife reach out to them reach out to your parents um or whoever you can go to for some advice don't freak out stay calm as calm as you can look at your baby is your baby like having trouble breathing is your baby um you know not looking good color wise anything you know your baby best so just again i didn't worry so much like i was worried i was like okay it's going up it's going up it's going up I, and i noticed instantly when her body temperature was off i was like something's off um but i noticed that she wasn't in any pain or like she wasn't looking bad she was smiling like she was smiling laughing giggling and i was like okay um so pay attention to your baby pay attention to um hey hey so if they're hydrating um again we are just breastfeeding so she was staying hydrated her pee, pee diapers were still coming in her poopy was still coming in and i was like feeling like she was doing pretty good um so it's definitely you know everyone's a little scared of covid right now but just know that if your baby does get it they can be okay now i'm not a doctor and this isn't any type of medical advice um but just know that uh babies i, I heard at one point that they couldn't get it how did we test her we tested a boogie and put it on the test kit and it came back positive and then we tested another boogie until it came back negative um, so that's how we tested her. We did not stick the thing up her nose. I wouldn't recommend that because they're babies and, you know, very fragile. They move around. Um, but that's how we tested with the home kit. Took a little one of her boogies when I sucked it out with the little nose, Frida. And it came back positive. I was positive. Dad was positive. So that's how I recommend you test them. Unless you take them to the hospital, do what you feel is best. Just know that they can be okay and if you're breastfeeding them even better use that breast milk for the congestion in their nose use that breast milk um to keep them you know their immune getting strong another thing is uh our baby is not vaccinated she's five months now we have decided that at this moment in life um or at this point for her we are um waiting uh maybe not going to but maybe going to we still haven't decided midwife on our pediatrician says it's fine that's a personal choice um my brother's baby my friend's babies are vaccinated and i have friends who have that babies that are not vaccinated um i don't recommend or not i don't recommend it or not recommend it i just say do your research and whatever is best for you but just know that if your baby is not vaccinated any vaccines i mean i'm not talking about the covid vaccine any vaccine um, they can be okay, you know, like their little bodies are growing and building their immune. If your baby is vaccinated, they can be okay too. So just uh, a little, how do I say, a little share, a little story of ours of what we went through having COVID with our four month old who is now five months going on six. And is, um, as you can see, she's doing really great. Um, she's she got through it. We got through it. And yeah, best of luck if you do have it. Just stay hydrated. Uh, get a lot of sunlight. Get a lot of rest. I was resting so much. Me and her were resting. Um, and yeah, best of luck to all of you. Stay safe out there. Much love. And thank you for watching as always. Bye.